Good afternoon, everybody. I'm a little bit excited. Because I have... Did I hit the record button? Yes. <laughs> Don't mind me. Um, just bringing it up on screen here so that I can see... Make sure I've got everything in play. But I'm a little bit excited because there's something awesome that has happened today and I just can't wait to show you. 20 people are watching. That's a good start. Good afternoon, ladies. So for those of you tuning in for the first time, where have you been? What have you done with your day? Hello, Bronwyn, Robin, Jean, Candy, the whole team's here. All right, let's crack into it. So as part of the... Oh, I think my camera's crooked, hang on. As part of the Great International Craft Show this weekend, which is an online craft show, we have um, lots and lots of specials happening this weekend. I will be playing with some acrylic paint in a moment and acrylic paint is 15% off for today only, which is all sorts of awesome for you. Um, but first of all, uh, I have got something really, really awesome to show you and that is something awesome in here. We have just had delivery from the printers of some Natalie May scrapbooking rice paper collage papers. These are all hand designed by me. <laughs> and I'm super excited about these. So we have got 14 designs. Why is my camera so crooked? Hang on a minute. That's annoying me. I know, way to build the suspense, hey? That's a bit better. Okay, so 14 designs. I've gone for something super simple for my first set because I wanted to just embrace colour because you guys know how much I love colour. So this one here is our, and my gosh, I have named them such awesome names. Louise begs to differ. But this one is called Orange Paint. <laughs> I know. Uh, we have got Green Paint. So for those of you who don't know, collage paper is a super thin uh, paper, excellent for popping into um, journals and bits and pieces, which is really cool. <laughs> um, Jeanette, I will get to that in a moment. Uh, so we have got green paint, we have got pastel grey paint, and this one is a pink, blue, grey sort of colour combo. We have got teal, and yes, yes, I did purple, <laughs> which, which is absolutely amazing. The camera's not really showing up how super vibrant these are. Um, we have got pink, pink paint, so lots of different shades of pink there. And we have got blue paint, which are all the shades of blue there for you. And I'm going to show you my favourite one last. I'm going to be a bit sneaky with that. Then I've gone into some hand-drawn doodles, okay? So we have got here just doodles. And that's exactly what they are. They are just doodles. We have got some pencil scribble. So there's been quite a few comments about how People do love my scribbly handwriting and my doodles and my scribble bits. So this is a pencil scribble. And that's exactly what it is, pencil scribble. We have got 
This one is just random scribble. So this is done with a slightly thicker marker. And as you can see, it is exactly that. So excellent for art journal pages. We then go into some super big, fat, bold, heavy scribble. This is super graphic, really, really great. I'm so thrilled with this. So that doesn't say anything and it's just a nice big bold scribble. And we have got hustle. So these are words. There's all sorts of words in that one in another big fat, um, a fat font. And then we have got rainbow words. So rainbow, rainbow words is uh, exactly that. We have got a, um, a whole heap of fabulous words written around a rainbow. No one ever made a difference by being like everyone else. Take time to make your soul happy. Be brave enough to be bad at something new. Take a risk and gain everything. So just some encouraging words on that one. And then my favorite, favorite, favorite one, which is the rainbow paint. So this is inspired by the art journal page that I created uh, late last year with Art by Marlene paints and bits and pieces and I loved this. So these will all be available online in the next five to 10 minutes. Oh, now, now apparently, done. done. Look at that, they're online right now. So you can jump onto nataliemay.com.au and grab these. Now these will not uh, be, of course, a discount at all, but these are $4.50 a sheet and we are madly packing as we speak. So very, very happy with these guys. So keeping it super simple with some nice bold colors. We've got blue, teal, green, paint, so all the colors there. All right, shall we just do something with them? What do you reckon? I am thinking that I might do something, I'm gonna keep it nice and simple, and I'm gonna use my pencil scribble today on a small little art journal page. Um, I wasn't, I didn't have any plan for this. I was actually gonna make a card, because I did promise you guys cards, but I was hoping you'd all forgotten about that. Um, so what I thought I might do is a art journal page using my little craft journal. I do love this six by six style journal that um, is, a, is a really, really good size. So I'm just gonna zoom my camera up. Won't be a moment. Look away if you get seasick. Oh, hang on. Can't do it now. Oh no, sorry guys. Wrong button. Oh, anyone would think I've never done this before. Come on. No, it doesn't want to do it. All right, let's crack into it. So this, today is um, Friday and Friday is our paint and acrylic paint special and um, what's the other thing? Alcohol ink special. So I thought I might just do a little bit of a art journal page here for you this afternoon. And I'm going to use the new paper, uh, the new rice paper, the new collage paper on the page as a focal point. Okay, something a little bit different. I think I might pop a tag on as well. Now I'm just popping a little bit of white gesso down because I'm gonna cut some circles in a moment. Maybe. Yes, I am. I'm going to cut three circles using the pencil scribble. So before I do anything, I'm gonna cut across. So the collage papers are available online now and you can add them to your orders. So I'm just going to cut a very dark. 
dodgy circle. And oh no, it's hit the floor. One. Now I'm gonna to have to just pop that aside because I've got the fan going in here because it's a little steamy here in Radelaide this afternoon on this Friday night. Friday afternoon. Hello Tina. Hello, welcome to, oh look Tina, if you open a new tab on your computer and jump over to my website, you will see 14, 14 brand new collage papers, Natalie May scrapbooking collage papers. That is what you are going to see. So there's 14 new colours that have just been released. I think this circle's a bit small. All right, let's pop it aside. I can always build on that. So what I'm going to do is because this is a small little six by six journal, I'm going to put those across my page. Uh, but before I do that, I'm just going to add some paint. So I'm just going to stick something down to anchor it. And I'm going to add some acrylic paint to start with. So I've got some Art by Marlene paint here and I think that I'm going to do something a little bit loose today. It's a bit of a loose afternoon. Here's a paintbrush. Here's one I prepared earlier. So I do like Art by Marlene paints. I do like these little nozzles. Uh, they do, every now and again, you might find that they block up a little bit and that is just because they have got that super fine point. So what I tend to do is grab a safety pin and I unblock those. Okay, and I'm gonna be a bit lazy today and not even clean my brush. Look at the rebel that I am. A few little highlights. So acrylic paint is fantastic, especially with this lovely dry brushing technique where I'm, I'm just using a little on the page to spread it around. I'm about to crack a drink. Oh, sorry, I'm just reading the comments here. Tina's decided to, <laughs> Tina's decided to, it's time for a drink on a, on a Friday. And I have to say, I'm feeling a little bit that way myself, but I haven't finished work yet. So there, that's not gonna happen. And I'm just gonna focus on getting some color on. I do have a can of Pepsi here because I'm sick of drinking water. And I'm overlapping some of these paints. Nice and loose, just being aware, watching where these paints kind of land and getting some color on. And now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a lot of pink to my page. Who's going to an online wedding? Tina. Oh. Is that a thing? Yeah. I've never heard of an online wedding. Tina, what happens with an online wedding? I know people get married online, I guess. That's obvious, but... <laughs> um, I need my pin. So I've got a, um, like a nappy pin. What, well, they used to call it a nappy pin. What are they... A safety pin that I just keep handy to unclog my paint. Online wedding. Wow. Who knew? Is that a thing? Oh no, I think something else has hit the floor. So my my main focal colour here is going to be pink. I'm loving this raw bold. chunk of pink on the page. I'm going to add uh, my circles in a moment and then I'll be able to finish off around those. Um, and I... What's that? They stream them like funerals. Okay. Really? Do you still know that many people who are getting married? Or do you mean like a funeral yesterday? If that's the case, I'm sorry for your loss. Quick save there. So yes, very excited about the collage paper. 
um, I will be releasing some more soon and I am using bits of artwork that I've created over the years um, as my inspiration and creating a few um, a few lovely little pieces of artwork so that you can use them in your journal. Now I am just going to get some paper towel because I'm going to try and keep my paintbrush. Oh, you had both. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, let's have a little think. What do I want to add? I'm just going to layer up some of these yellows again because I do like this yellow but it's just not strong enough over the top. And I'm going to use my catalyst tool just to be a little swipey swipey. And although that white has disappeared, I'm going to add some more white in a minute. Because collage paper has a tendency to be transparent which is what we love about it. We will see some of that pattern come through in underneath, um, some of that colour, which I don't really want, I don't think. I want it to stand out and be the hero. Because we all need a hero. Same thing again with that. And I've got those couple of little pops of orange as well which I'm going to maybe maybe I'm going to highlight but see just by swiping with the back of my palette knife just like I did in the in the art journal page I did yesterday I did that with the uh, what are they called the chipboard houses yesterday the with the ghetto <laughs> Oops. Um, where did I have the orange? There's only one spot of orange left. Oh, there was some up there. I might pop some there too. I'm just looking at balancing and I'm trying not to mix the blue too much. And I'm just going to pop that aside to dry. Because I think I want to stamp, I want to add a tag and a stamp as well. If I'm going to overachieve, I'm going to commit to it. So I've got a white tag here that appears to be way too big. So I'm going to need to cut it down. Yep. Scissors ought to do it. And I might stamp like a, a focal point on it, a focal image in a minute. And I pulled out my Dina Wakeley stamps. Sorry, I just realized I was doing that off camera. Yeah, pretty good. I've pulled out the I Spill, spill stamps. And I think I might pop an image onto it. I like it better on that side, but it's going to go like that. It's the new COVID, so we can include each other. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. All right, so I think I want to paint it first before I pop on some colour. That would be the smart thing to do. And what colour? What colour? No idea. Let's think about it. Something I haven't used here. I haven't used green and I haven't used very much orange but I, I'm just, you know, I could take or leave the orange so Do something I haven't done in a while, which is a little bit of this, a little bit of tag swiping. 
to get a few patterns happening. Yeah, okay, that works. And I was going to use green, but I don't think I can stomach how it will look over orange. So I'm going to... So can you see what happened with the tag? Just by going over it with a wet baby wipe and a stencil, it's left those marks there. And that is what I love. And I'll do the same thing again. Wet baby wipe. I'm not wiping the paint off. But just creating an interesting mark. And I might take this and a little of that. So the colours that I'm using for our mermaid, I'm going to ditch the green. Mermaid, ballet, happy, hot curry, good names. And I'm going to use a blending tool. and put a few random letters on for highlight. So when I stamp over the top of this in a moment, all of that is going to head to the background. No, Jeanette, darling, not going to be purple, but thank you. <laughs> like it. Right, let's stamp onto here. So I might just do a quick little test to stamp first because I can't remember exactly. How this looks. So I'm using my archival black soot because it is a richer black than what the black uh, the ranger archival ink is what's the difference between these paints paper artsy dina wakely okay the difference between them really in all honesty other than the price point is Oh yeah, that works. Uh, is the uh, for me personally, it's about the texture. So the Dina Wakely paints are a heavier bodied paint. They tend to hold their shape a little bit better. The Dilutions paints, I find, are. Um, a little bit more fluid and they seem to have a bit more of a perhaps a plasticky content to them um, I find that I I tend to reach for oh, the paper artsy ones are like they've got a chalky finish so they've got a so you can like paint draw over the top of them a little bit better um, I do like those. Oh, good on you, mate. Your fancy Commodore. Um, the Art by Marlene paints I find are very similar to Dina Wakely. They, they've got like almost like a matte finish to them. And they, uh, they hold their shape really, really well. So I'm just stamping over the top of that just be kind from my just be kind stamp set and in the wonderful new packaging the stamp storage that is now available for the very low price of $4.95 uh, online at nathaniemay.com.au uh, so that's my main difference with the
with the paints. Did I miss a paint? Oh, there's the Dilution Shimmer as well. Um, and that's exactly what it is. It's a shimmer paint. Nothing more than that. All right, so that's going to go there. And then I'm just going to go one, two, and that little baby one can go up under, or oh, maybe down there. So I'm going to pop a little bit of white on because I feel like it needs some white underneath to help it. And I'm using the back of my catalyst tool, whoops, because it just needs a pop of white to lift the whole page up and tie it all together, okay? So that one will go there in a minute. I need to weigh it down with some paint. Uh, then I'm gonna go with, that one will go up there. here and just by popping that there that's going to go there that's going to go there all right uh, the next thing I need to do is add some gel medium to the back of my collage paper. I'm just going to round off those dodgy corners a little, but I, I do want to make this a little bit dry before I do that. So I'm just going to heat set it. With one of my 17 tools I seem to have here plugged in. dry enough for me. Gel medium. So I want to use gel medium to stick down my collage paper. Uh, I'm using the impasto gel medium which has got a little bit of body to it. So I'm just going to put it onto the back here first just because I don't want too much to go onto my page because I'm not going to be painting over the top of it too much. So I'm just going to go right to the edges with my brush. It's really weird to see your handwriting on a collage paper, by the way. All right, we've got one. And I'm not making it sopping wet. I'm just giving it a nice even adhesion. So you could use a glue stick if a glue stick was your thing. Uh, you could use a, hello Kayleen, you could use any sort of adhesive. I like to use collage, uh, use, use gel medium because it's a really good collage medium. And I like the impasto one because it's just got that little bit more body to it. Okay. Alrighty, so I have adhered those, stuck those babies down, and I've got, I'm just going to bring it up the camera just to show you while I think about what I'm going to do next. I don't know. I'm having a big brain, brain fade. Okay, stop, think. Okay, I'm having a brain fade, which means I can't work out what I want to do next. So let's go with adding on my, I know my tag's going to go here with my focal point image. I might pop a little black on next. I might pop a bit of black on behind it. So I'm not going to put the black straight onto the page because that is a deadly thing to do. 
So how about we stencil on some black first? That's a great idea. I'm gonna use my blending tool. And then if I kind of think, mm, do I love it? I can use a wet baby wipe to tone it back so that I get a nice shade of black if it's too dark. Okay, a little bit of that. Yeah, that works. And I'm gonna pop some over here as well. I'm going to connect, whoops, that was a lot. I'm gonna connect my circles my Natalie May scrapbooking collaged circles. And I forgot to rub that back, which means I've got to line it up. There we go. And I'm not even adding any more paint on here. I'm onto my sponge. I find it much easier just to work with what I've got. Happy with that. I'm going to pop a little paint on my finger or a lot of paint on my finger as the case may be and just give it a little bit of edge love. Give it a dirty dusty edge. Right, let's make these circles stand out. Couple of ways we can do that. We can use a Stabilo pencil. We can use a black paint pen. We can use a white paint pen. But I'm gonna use a black, kind of like a Sharpie. And I'm going to outline. I could even use the black acrylic paint. And this, Tina, is another very awesome thing that um, these paints do, is you can scribble with these as well. So I can go over that. I'm not gonna do that right now because I wanna add a little bit of white pen as well and it will take too long to dry. But I do have one um, down in my shop that Louise is gonna go and grab for me the samples of the art by Marlene on the shelf under the paper artsy paints. Are you listening? <laughs> she wasn't even listening to me. Can you grab those? You know, um, art by Marlene paints watches, please. Happy days. I'll stick that on. Glue. All right. So the Art by Marlene paints, because they have got that lovely fine tip, they can do this, okay? And the really cool thing about this is, you see all the body that these Art by Marlene paints have? So what I've done is I've swatched it in the back and then I have just drawn with it. So you can see how that paint leaves the body, leaves the body like a, the exorcist. Oh, Friday, Friday, Friday. Um, leaves the tube and leaves body. All right, so you can see that, you know, the fluoro paints have got a little bit of translucency to them, but they still hold the shape. I don't know if there's any way of, can you see on camera that they've got shape? Yeah, they look cool. Let's go for some side dimension. Ooh. So especially awesome for doing this. All right, moving on. You guys have got better things to do. I'm sure you've got wine to drink, people to see. Um, Radio. I want to do a little bit of detailing and doodling now. 
Uh, I think that it needs it. Uh, so my circles, of course, are out of the new collage paper. And I want to... Hey? Is that my writing? Yes, that, that is Nat's... No, what is it called? This, and here comes my problem. I've got to remember what they're called. Pencil scribble. Pencil scribble. And I'm just using a Pinto paint pen here just to add a few little marks. Some little pops of interest. Some little crosses here. And one, two, I need to do a third one. And I'm going to do some, just some dots. Don't overthink it. Says me, who seems to be taking an awfully long time to do an art journal page. All right, so I've got my stamp words on here. So that's not my title. I don't need to do a title anywhere else. What I am gonna do is a few little black marks and I'm just popping them around the place where I'm connecting them to these spots and the, um, the black stenciling so they don't look out of place. They are connected to something. They're connected to a main a main piece here okay uh, so I'll do the same thing I'm going to pop some just black dots into this section here so visually it's it's balanced and then some's going to need to come up here the last thing I'm going to do is add some more unnecessary stamping and like I said I could have easily just made it a bit darker with my paint pen or my Stabilo pencil, but I decided to go for my Sharpie. Uh, what was I going to do? A bit of unnecessary stamping. So I'm also going to crack out the rest of the stamps, the words here, from the Just Be Kind. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I've had a better idea. I've had a better idea. Gonna bring it up to camera. I've got to add some splatters yet, but it's looking nice and bright and messy. Because I am absolutely super happy with my new collage papers, which I'll go over and show you again in a moment, I'm going to use my super sweary stamp set and I'm going to find something here that makes me happy. And I'm not going to, I will read it out, but I'll miss out the key word. Where is, the, where is it, where is it, where is it here? Um, so if you are offended by bad words, please look away now. All right, so there is my super sweary stamp set. And they do have lots of super sweary words. So I have chosen one here that says, do what you something love. You can stick any word in that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of off stamping. So off stamping and layering. So what that is, is when you put your stamp down and you get one really, really, really good one. And then you just kind of empty your ink pad I guess over the top and it ties it all together rather than re-inking it every time then it becomes like a really whoops a really grey scale sort of image okay and I'm going to pop a little up the top here A 
and I'll bring it up to camera and show you in a moment. Now, again, if you are offended by bad language, now's the time to look away. But you can see how this off stamping just ties it in, ties it all together. All right, around the page. Right, let's just finish this baby off with some splatters. How do we splatter? It's not as easy as it sounds. Right, we need to make up a wash. So I might do a little wash of, what color? Black or white? Black. So I'm gonna make up a little wash on the side here. So I have a pea size amount of black paint. And I have a thin paintbrush and I have some water here. So I'm just going to take my paintbrush and I'm gonna start making up a, and that would have been great if the water was clean, but now it's like a gray wash. Some days, I tell you. All right, I don't want too much splatter across here, so we can mask that off really easily by sticking something over the top like a piece of dirty paper towel and because the fan is just going to blow everything away right and now I'm going to splatter so when I splatter it's a finger tap it's not a wrist flick if you wrist flick you end up with a line. So we want to finger tap, we want a smoker's tap. And you can practice first on a piece of paper. And that is the perfect splatter. And I'm connecting it to where my stamping is. But it makes the difference. The other thing that you can do is just outline your page a little bit with the side of your paintbrush to pick up, make a little bit of a border. Little bit of a border. All right. And I'm going to stop. I'm going to put it down before I make it worse. Um, okay. Before I make it better. Let's bring it up to camera and I'll show you those splatters. Can you see how dainty they are? How dainty and pretty? There you go. All right. So that, oh, hey, quickly before I do anything else, I will also show you how to use the Art by Marlene paint to, to write something. So you know how I just mentioned about, you know, drawing a circle and I showed you how to do that? Let, well, I didn't show you how to do it. I'll show you how to do it now. So if you want to outline something, talk at the same time but there you go um, and that's what these awesome nozzles are all about yes they do block up no there's no magic way of stopping that happening but a, a, a nappy pin a safety pin handy 
to unblock it because the paint's going to dry in that nozzle. There's no way around that. But you can layer those colours up as well when they're, when they're um, dry. Easy. So that is a massive bonus of using the Art by Marlene paints. So just to recap today, guys, um, I am absolutely oh, over the moon. Stick my hand in that black paint. Are you kidding? Let's just... Let's just start playing here. I am over the moon to have just picked up from the printers the new collage papers for art journaling and scrapbooking and card making, all of those bits and pieces. So we've just used the pencil scribble Pencil scribble, we have just, ooh, let me get that out of the way. Uh, and I'm putting it on the white background because it does look best on a white background, of course. We have got just doodles. So these have just gone up online at nataliemay.com.au. We have got, whoops, random scribble which of course is exactly that. And it is just my, my highly sought after scribbly handwriting. We have got the, I'm gonna turn that light off because it looks like it's shiny, but it's not shiny. This is the blue paint. This is the pink paint. This sounds like that. What's my, what's my favorite book? Uh, oh, where's the green sheep? Purple paint. Teal paint, pastel grey, which is delightful. Green, which has got beautiful teals and blues through it. And these will layer up beautifully on top of each other as well. Orange paint. And we've got bold scribble and Hustle, which look very similar, except for that has got words on it. Hustle has got um, words on it, obviously. Hustle, written across the middle there. We have got rainbow words. So rainbow, rainbow words is excellent. You'll be able to paint that. And then finally, we have got the rainbow paint. Okay, so these have just become available online, uh, nataliemay.com.au. So thank you very, very much for tuning in. Uh, I am thrilled to, I love doing these little demos for you guys and I will post a, a photo of the finished product and pop it up online with a link to some of the products that we have used and also pop it up on YouTube for you to find later on. So don't forget, uh, for today only, we have got 15% off acrylic paint, which includes the Art by Marlene sets and singles, Dina Wakeley paint. It also includes Dilusions paints and Paper Artsy paints. Uh, it also includes, there's a few little Reeves paints as well, black and white and gold. Uh, plus you can also get 15% off of alcohol inks, which is what I showed, uh, showed earlier in today's live Facebook. We have some fantastic bundles available, including um, there's an Art by Marlene Lucky Dip, if you love a Lucky Dip. Uh, and yeah, lots of other little bargains. So make sure you have a look in the show specials today. So thanks, guys. Jump online to nataliemay.com.au and I look forward to chatting with you soon. Wash your hands, kiss your kids, wear a mask. See ya.